Hello everybody, Colonel Jet here with a little bit of a change in gaming. You might be asking, what is this? Why are there block people? Why is there an Apache helicopter in the background? I'm totally wrong about that. Actually, no, that is an Apache helicopter because it has a gun turret on it. Or it might be a hind. No. Uh, well, I don't know. It might be a hind. Uh, this is Ravenfield. And as you can see right now, it's in beta. You can get it for free, totally free, at GameJolt.com. Indie games up the wazoo there. Free. I think some are paid for. Um, but most of the games are free and made by independent people that just love to make games. This game is no different. And this game, I absolutely love. It is a first-person shooter, um game where you go around and capture flags on an island. It is exactly like Battlefield, except um, it's not as big. It's not like giant maps, giant tanks, giant Apache helicopters coming out of nowhere and blowing your ass up. It doesn't have the cutting edge graphics, as you can see. Um, we're going to change the victory score to 700. Actually, no. You know what? We're going to do it to... Let's just put it at 1,000. I don't know how long this is going to take. The box will put it at 200 just so that I can show you something. There's some of the stuff. Game options. Here you go. We are playing this on easy difficulty. You might ask why. That's because, well, actually, this game is actually really intense. It's really intense, actually. Um, this I cannot speak to. Um, go to Game Jolt. Look up this game. It's beautiful. Let's get into it. There's only one map right now. It's in beta, so they probably will be putting in stuff. I support this game fully. I hope this game does get put through. All right, so we're in the. So this is the map. So these are the weapons. You have an AK-47, or 76 Eagle, the SL Defender, and the Signal DMR. I personally like the Signal DMR. You have two pistols, uh, the S I or S I N D7 and the suppressed version. You have a bunch of side uh, stuff like frag grenades, spearheads, binoculars, ammo bags, medit pack, the uh, a bazooka and a javelin essentially. Um, let's deploy. All right. So this is the game. As you can kind of tell, it's not exactly the most graphic, most graphically pleasing game in the world. But it's not bad. Um, it might get a little laggy at times. There is a lot of combat. It's really beautiful game. There's a lot of combat. A lot of fun. Um, a lot of stuff. Like the AI will get into the They will get into places like behind rocks, buildings, bunkers, and they'll hunker down. Um, although the AI is kind of dim. Oh. 
toss. And if he tosses, he can do it with ragdoll. And it's kind of neat to watch. Oh, oh shoot, I thought he died. Oh, oh. Teammate, no. Um, this is not an online game. Like, it's not really online with this. It's unfortunately not online. I hope they are coming with online. I think they are. If they do, then good lord, this game is awesome. People that, love the people that love Battlefield, but they just keep running out of the seat, I highly suggest. Now, where are the problems? Well, you kind of guess it. The graphics are kind of, well, it's not like, you know, oh my god, look at that. Grass kind of looks a little cut and dry. Um, you know, a lot of this stuff is very simple. Um, you know, a lot of this stuff, you know, it is simple. It's very simple. Uh, but it works. It's a fun to play. play it. You know, I, I'm not going to lie. There are tanks, there are helicopters. Like you can sometimes hear them with the gun or the gunfire. If people shoot their Ooh, I think those are rockets right there that they that the helicopter was shot. Oh my just been died. They will kill they will kill you in hell, they will also like go over and blow to up with rocket launchers. Um, you can kind of see the map right here, we are where the white arrow is. Team is victorious. Now that does not mean that you can talk the game to end. You can keep fighting, which is something that I adore. I love the game. Foul's over. I won't go home. No, you can still fight and die. Now uh, I show you the assault rifle, the TMR. Now and yes, this game will go on for as long as you want. There is no, you know, there's no stopping. There's fighting. There's yes, you can go up this mountain. I know what happens. Why am I going up the side of a mountain? Look here. Look at this. They're behind bars. Using pistols. Fire at the enemy down there. Headshot. Um, the other thing that I love about this game is that, again, it's simplistic, but there is a slight bullet drop. See? There's a slight bullet drop. And see, I shot him in the chest, or in the arm, rather, and it didn't kill him. He can still get up and get help. With two shots, and that Obviously, there you see. Um, and some of the 
guys will eat like flail. They'll be like, ouch, you know, I'm shot, please someone come help me. <laughs> um, so, uh, I know you guys are going to die because it's a rocket launcher there. It's essentially a jab. You use it, you lock on, you fire, and then it goes on there. However, you do need to, I think, stay in the sights. So, I'll show you real quick. You need to stay in this mode while it's locked on, and it will kill the uh, helicopter and your Shotguns, sniper rifles, to rockets, grenades, 
I mean, grenades help a lot. It's essentially a fork. Look at this thing. It's like insane to assault. Um, and plus, if you got a sniper and you have a post up here, you can post up right here. You can really deal some damage on the reinforcements. Especially if you're right here, because all I'm doing is just I will not give up even they will keep fighting until someone just until the end of time. No example why the AI is kinda stupid though. Is that sometimes people will walk right past each other and they won't hit each other. So that certain people will just like so, oh there's ragdoll, there's ragdoll. <laughs> Sometimes the AI will be smart. They will keep you suppressed. They will actually um, take out their assault rifles and actually shoot at you, making you take cover. Oh Lord! Oh no! Oh no! There's also other places that you go to to get the advantage. For example, there on the hill, you can shoot down into the fort. Um, um, but the cool thing is, though, that I absolutely adore this game.
Oh! Oh! I hit a tree! They probably saved me. Hey! Still kind of just like, no, ow. Um, he still kind of ignored me. Uh, we're gonna use the shotgun here. I mean, the shotgun is really good at obviously. It's a shotgun. But I mean, this thing. Or I think it's called Raven Force. Should be. Raven Field, I'm sorry. That's the game Raven Field. It only has that one option, unfortunately. Uh there is reverse mode that does just reverse the teams. I think assault mode is like a rush game mode. I think here, yeah, let's find out. I think it's like rush from uh Yeah, it is, but in a way that's more like borderline to uh just be like, okay, we, the only reason why there's no AI is because I don't think I put any, but you just capture the whole entire island, uh, while just, like, checking that off, like, checking it, gives it the enemy the advantage of every everything in the field, but if you check it off, then it's just a standard game, everyone needs to capture flags, that's the only option, that's the only real game mode, I'm sad to say. I hope this thing gets fully developed into a full-fledged game. I really enjoy it. I hope you guys find it on Game Girl. I'll actually try to leave a link in the description below. The game is amazing. As I said, though, it is a little rough and tumble. You know, it's kind of rough in the sense that it's not graphically impressive. There's only the one map. There's only one game mode. However... The amount of bots and the amount of score that you could put in this game is insane. I've had games to, to where I've put the bots to 1,000, and it crashed my... Well, not crashed it, but it did lag the hell out of it. Um, without further ado, though, that was the game Ravenfield Beta 3. Um, I think the one that I... Or I think the version that I played was Beta 1. Um... But so far, it looks amazing. So far, it looks beautiful. Um, keep working on it. I hope it comes out as a full game. It is entirely free. And I hope to see you guys later. Peace.